week two of the fantasy football season, and he's a few kickers. I have his sleeper options this week. The first one, Blake Grubb. The New Orleans Saints, surprising. Grubb's still out there, 95% of fantasy leagues. He went 4-for-4 four four on field goals last week and 5-for-5 five five on extra points. And obviously, they're not going to score 47 points every week is this New Orleans Saints team. And it was a great matchup versus the Carolina Panthers, possibly the worst team in all the NFL. But Grubb, last season, he made the team. They traded off Will Lutz, who was a longtime kicker over there for this New Orleans Saints team. And this is going to be an offense, especially this week, where I think they're going to have trouble finding the end zone consistently or even scoring two touchdowns in this game versus the Dallas Cowboys because we saw the Dallas Cowboys week one defense picking up where they left off last season besides that playoff game versus the Packers where they controlled the line of scrimmage they got pressure on the quarterback and I think it's going to be more of the same where the same team they might have to try some long distance field goals to keep up on the scoreboard so right now well he's out there in 95 percent of fantasy leagues and coming off a 20 plus point fantasy day is Blake Grubb. He's definitely a sleeper kicker this week. The next kicker, Braden Narvison of the Green Bay Packers. So this Packer team, they're definitely going to have trouble scoring the football now with Jordan Love out of the lineup. And I think they're going to settle for a bunch of field goals as well. So Narvison available 98% of Fantasy League. He's had a good debut with the Packers last week. 10 fantasy points, hitting three field goals, extra points. And like I said, this Packer team, they're going to have some trouble scoring touchdowns where Narvison, they're most likely going to have to trot him out there for 40 or 50 yarders at times. So this week in a matchup, we're seeing the Indianapolis Colts where they've known to be a bend but don't break defense at times. Besides last week when the Houston Texans went up and down the field and had their way, but I think Narvison can have a decent ball game. And like I said, it's going to be tough this season, I believe especially the weeks loves out with the MCL injury for them to score a lot of touchdowns. So as a sleeper kicker this week, I think he's a decent option. And the third and final kicker I have is a sleep is Chase McLaughlin of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So McLaughlin last season, he found his way on this list a lot and he's still out there in 96% of fantasy leagues. And he's a kicker that always flies under the radar and he has a decent amount of double digit games per season. And week one, he had a double digit game hitting a 27 yarder 35 yarder and a 53 yarder and four extra points so this week in a potential shootout at the Detroit Lions I think Chase McLaughlin's gonna get a couple opportunities once again in this one he's got a good boot and it's always a good thing obviously to play indoors where you don't have to deal with the weather or anything else so this Tampa Bay offense they're pretty well oiled machine from last year this year as well with Baker Mayfield under the helm and McLaughlin I believe will continue to get chances so that's a few kickers I have as sleepers for week two of the fantasy football season.